Hey, what up legends? How's it going? Q and Bacon here. Now today I've got something pretty cool for you, like every day. Um, though today we're going to play a Dragon Priest, and even though the Dragon Priest got shafted in the last expansion because literally only one dragon got released, well, we're still going to give it a shot, and it's going to work just well. Um, so this is Dragon of Oz, uh, deck creator Oz just brought that out and it looked pretty cool so i wanted you guys to give it a shot or at least take a look at it um there is one card that i'm missing uh he includes ratheon uh, in this deck which i think is a really fun addition because there's a lot of you know there's a lot of dragons in there and um if you're going to go full-on dragons and all well you might as well have a ratheon in there to draw you an extra card and all though i do not have that card so Personally, I thought that Harrison Jones was a, was a really good card um, currently uh, to act as, a, as the same type of uh, card draw mechanic and also it's a little cheaper, the stats are about the same. Uh, it fits that position. You can also remove a weapon and all. I, it's not the same, I know. If you have Rathion, please do put him in there. Um, though I think that Arison John also counters a lot of the uh, more aggressive decks like Rogue and and um, Warrior and Paladin and all. So all in all, it's, it's a pretty decent choice. It's not the best, but I think it will work out quite well. Um, let me get into a game here. I do hope that you guys enjoy. Apparently the deck has like a 70 plus percent win rate and all. Uh, maybe a little bit less with my addition of Airson Jones, but I'm pretty sure we're going to do just well. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like um, and share the video with your friends. That would be fantastic. And apart from that, let me get into a game here and we should try to have some fun with this. I do want to mention we're having an awesome giveaway tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll do it on stream or if I'll just give it out um, on tomorrow's video. Though it gonna, it's going to be there. So if you want to participate in that, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video uh, telling me what you thought about the deck. And, um, well, turn on your subs and make sure that you're subbed to the channel just so I can see that you participate. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You have a chance of winning a couple card packs. Nothing too terrible about that in my opinion um you know you can always finish your collection faster and let's just go ahead and start talking about the deck here um you do see that you have a lot of early game with the fairy dragon uh fairy dragon radiant elemental um and dark reapers and all so in my opinion this works pretty well um, for some reason he was not able to play a two drop so i'll take advantage of that play my beautiful beautiful little dragon friend um okay what does he play here stonehill defender okay well um if you play stonehill defender i'm gonna play tar creeper and unfortunately it's just you no know, it just has one health now so you can't do much here that's quite all right with me. Hydrologist. That has to be get down, right? Let's get down. So since he played get down, I'm just gonna, you know, take this, attack here. Interesting, it was not get down. Oh well. There's the Kodo. Alright, well that's fine with me. I'm gonna heal my dude. I didn't ha I didn't really have another turn right now. I didn't you know did have any decent card to play, so that's just alright for now. Um We got Dragon Operative for next turn. So that's gonna be very good for us. Valfin Inquisitor. All right, I'm 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 okay with that. I'm I'm quite all right here. Let me go ahead and play Dragon Operative. Fantastic card. Um, Finja is a little expensive. What gives me the best stats? I don't have another Murloc. This is a three-three. This is a two-three. Um, 
I can play Rockpool Hunter along with Twilight Drake. So I think I'll take Rockpool Hunter. Since it's, you know, it's cheaper. That is Noble's Sacrifice. Alright, so I'm just going to trade here. I don't want him to have too many Murlocs. Because I know it will get out of hand pretty fast. So that's not so good for us. Here comes Finja. Oh, no, Aldor. Interesting. Okay. And a Bluegill. Alright, that's that's a fair trade. Don't mind that one too much. Um, I'm going to play Twilight Drake. And... Well, I'll play the Rockpool Hunter. I know it's going to be a good trade for him. Though... I will be able to clean it up with the Dragon Operative. I just don't want to waste two mana. He has to have a weapon at some point, doesn't he? Okay, title hand. Stonehill Defender, which will get cleaned up. Oh, Holy Nova is fantastic here. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah. Holy Nova's pretty good. Alright, cool. I don't really want to play Radiant Elemental because I want to play it with like a Shadow Vision or something. Even though it gives me more board and all. It's, it's good to play when you're going to know that you're going to play a spell in, in that next turn. I probably should have played it. Eh, it's alright. Let's go ahead and play Twilight Drake. We're gonna pass here. I don't wanna trade both of them quite yet. Okay, so there's a steed. Okay, so I can Shadow Word on it um, and then clear it. Do I play? Do I go all out? I might want to go all. Out. Uh, not really. Let's go with this first. I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm not too happy about this. I will play Sarah most likely next turn. Uh, this is not so great. If he does have theory in here, I can't clear it. Ooh. Okay. Though the board will be empty for my Sarah here, so. That's pretty good. Uh, but I could, uh, I could have saved it and drawn a card and all of it. It's kind of a weak play, especially since I don't know what I'm gonna draw and all. And also, Laughing Sister is not the best card to get a Fuffy Sarah, so you got a second one. What? Okay, well, I don't really have a choice now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Primordial Drake. Thank you. Okay. That second Tareem was not in my plans. That's pretty bad. Megasaur, please don't get poison. Okay, living Spore is not... As bad. Uh, please don't get poison as well. That's not good. Might. Oof. Alright. Okay. I don't have a dragon. Um, so I'm going to have to play cleric. I'm going to... Well, I'm going to attack here. 
I'm gonna heal it. What spells can I get with that? I can't really get much. Oh, a dragon fire potion is actually fantastic. Though I cannot play it right now. Though it's not too bad because I know it will clear the board. At some point. And yes, please do use your little murlocs. See, if, if Arison was Rathion, we'd be in a better position here. But that does not seem to be the case. And is this enough to warrant Dragon Fire Potion? I don't feel like it is. I don't really feel like it is. I think I'll just draw a card with Arison Jones. And then I can heal myself and get a dragon with Nether Sprite Historian. Deathwing is interesting. I think Alex Strasse might be a bit better, especially if he goes all face and all, you know. Cuz with Deathwing Right now, only a bookworm would be coming out. And you could just equality something or peacekeeper it and just kill it that way and all. Okay, so he is going face. Okay, so I'm, I am going to trade here. Like this. Then we're going to attack with this little lady. Potion. To clear the board. Wait, a little dragon dude? Heal myself. Alright. We're not in such a terrible position. Uh, that's not so great. I don't like that. Oh, second dragon fire potion. Oh, that's perfect. Actually, that's amazing, because now I can clear his Finja. My dragon still stays alive. I'm going to play Laughing Sister. Um, he can't touch my cards. He can't kill those, which is awesome. Oh, and that's cool, because I can Shadow Word Paint, or actually... Better than that, I can bookworm. I can shadow word pain one of them. You guys realize it's his third terim, right? That's a little BS. Let's go. Another spider historian. Oh, there we go. He Sarah's back. All right, we're getting in there. I know he is going to play um, Tyrion quite soon. Oh, lay on hands. Oh, that gives me a that gives me a free turn to lay down Ysera. I think. I think that's what we're gonna do here. This is perfect. I I really like that. I, I I don't think I'll have to play more than one game to showcase the deck in its entirety because that's what we're doing right now. I I have seven cards left. I think you guys see the potential in this. It it, it is um you know, it, you play on curve, but if you actually manage to to get into the late game, you can have a lot of late game potential with your Nether Spider Historian and all. So you don't really need much more than just any Sarah and two Nether Spider Historian to do the job. Which is pretty cool, actually. Okay, while well, he's laying down his Murlocs. Um, so first thing that we're going to do is... Well, we're going to attack here to see if it's get down. Which, which it looks like it is. That could have been a mistake there. Um, there then we're going to attack here. And then we can play Shadow Word Pain here. Womp. Attack. Attack. 
powered shield on this little guy. We get another bookworm. We can heal ourselves. And we draw a card. And we'll, I think we'll have him over time. Because even if he plays Tyrion, we still have Dream. <laughs> Alright, Consecration kills one creature. Does two damage to everything else. Not worried about that at all. Oh, here. Tark Reaper. Actually, no better than that. I'm just going to, you know... I'm just going to eat it. Play Bookworm. Hit him in the face quite slowly. Get another Laughing Sister. Alright, I think I think that this worked pretty well. I think this, this was pretty interesting. And I'm quite surprised that we're able to wreck a Paladin this much. And I'm pretty happy about it. And I think that's lethal, right? Because of Nightmare? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we are going to... BM a little bit here with our free cards. We're going to Dream. We're going to Nightmare. And then we're just going to slap in the, in the face for the game. And that was GG. That was a really fun game, actually. I really enjoyed this. So that's pretty much it. This is OG's, uh, OG's, Oz's Dragons. Um, I really like it. It's a fun deck. You guys should try it too. It's not too expensive, as I recall. You only have Rathion and Isera. I don't even have Rathion. The deck worked quite well for me. So just put another, you know, just put another card draw card if you don't have them. Um, if you don't have Isera, it's a little harder, though you can get her off of um, the Nether Spite Historian, so another big dragon um, could also work. I'm just saying if you don't, but you still want to play something like that. If you do have the cards, though, play it as is because it's quite good. I'm going to put a link to it in the description, of course. That's pretty much it for today. Don't forget to get a you know get your chance at uh, participating in the giveaway again comment comment section subscribe to the channel make sure your you know your subs are shown so i can see that you're sub that's pretty much it um that's happening tomorrow i hope everyone has a good time and has you know at least tries to do that because it's always a chance you never know what happens you know um so thanks a lot for watching everyone and of course i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye